This ebook presentation is about the learning styles in your classroom. In this presentation, you will see concrete examples of the four VARC learning styles in the four major academic areas, language arts, mathematics, social studies, and science. The examples are appropriate for middle school students. This ebook presentation was created by Rebecca Holman, Troy Perkins, Jean Pergel, and Kathy Trailer, Spring 2005. Volume is a concept that lends itself easily to various learning styles. For the visual learners, provide a diagram with measurements. The oral learners would do best with a verbal discussion. Providing written formulas and examples would be the best approach for the read-write learners, and the kinesthetic learners would learn well with manipulatives such as colorful pot blocks, one-inch wooden cubes, or sugar cubes. Multiplying binomials, an algebra concept, can also be presented in various ways. The visual learners will do well with area models or diagrams resembling algebra tiles. The kinesthetic learners will do best with actual plastic algebra tiles. Either group would benefit from using online versions of algebra tiles. The oral learners should recite the mnemonic FOIL, F-O-I-L, means first, outer, inner, and last. And the read-write learners will do best if you stick to the algebraic expressions. There are also many ways to teach probability. Kinesthetic learners should actually toss dice or flip the coins. Oral learners should discuss the results and work problems orally, perhaps in groups. Visual learners could use probability simulation programs such as the one provided on the TI-83 calculators online. Read-write read learners will prefer sticking to the formulas and the theoretical rather than experimental probabilities. This slide deals with the different ways students learn literature. Visual students could watch the movie. Oral students could listen to the book on tape, CD, or iPod. Read-write learners could just read the book. Kinesthetic could act out the story as you read it. This slide deals with the output from the different learning styles. Visual learners could create a Middle Earth map or a diagram of the plot with software such as Inspiration. Oral learners could record the reaction digitally or recreate a scene using dialogue. Read-write learners could write their own quest story or write a book review. Kinesthetic learners could act out the story or write additional scenes and act them out. The magnificent and horrifying sights and sounds of an erupting volcano are perfect for capturing and holding the attention of the visual learner. Links to the numerous excellent volcano websites can be provided as well as books and videos from the school library that may be used. Oral learners will enjoy describing the awe-inspiring events of volcanic eruptions to the classmate. Groups of students can be assigned to research an actual volcano such as Mount St. Helens and describe it to the class during the presentation. Readers will be spellbound by the numerous books, websites, and magazine articles describing volcanoes. The kinesthetic learner will enjoy building a working model of a volcano. Kinesthetic learners could build a working model and demonstrate as their class project. This slide deals with the student's learning and how they respond to a unit on Georgia's colonial history. The visual learners will learn better if they create a timeline and graph to view Georgia's past. Oral learners will learn better if they have colonial Georgia orally described to them. The read-write learner will learn better if they read about Georgia's founders. The kinesthetic learner will learn better if they create a diorama showing colonial Georgia. 